Welcome to the Two Ton Nerds Valentine slash Single Awareness Day special. My name is Max James. I am one half of the Two Ton Nerds. And in this video, I will be profiling my favorite fictional female character. The problem wasn't finding the characters. There's quite a few uh, female characters that really stood out, like the Bride from Kill Bill, Claire Reese Starling from Silence of the Lambs, and even more recent Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. Um, the problem was is narrowing the list down to one. I finally narrowed it down to two. This was tough because the runner-up is one of my favorite characters. Uh, regardless of gender, and as well as the lead in one of my favorite movies, um, Ellen Ripley from Alien, and as well as Aliens. Um, she's portrayed by um, Sigourney Weaver, which earned her a uh, Oscar nomination, which deserves an award for that alone. Um, being nominated for an Oscar from a sci-fi movie is kind of is very rare and unheard of, um, but. Anyways, the character Ripley is a complete badass in every sense of the word. I highly recommend you go watch Alien and Aliens to, to see why. For the last couple of years, this character has really pushed her way to the front of the line. Um, Elizabeth Slender from the Millennium series, or also known as the Dragon Tattoo Trilogy, created by the late Steve Larson. Um, the best way to describe... Um, Elizabeth Slender is, she's skinny, she has dark hair, she's pale, um, she has piercings, and she sports several tattoos, including, um, a dra of a dragon on her back. Uh, she is an expert computer hacker, which she uses this skill quite often throughout the series to help solve the disappearance of a young girl, and as well as clear her name of murder, of allegations of murder that she didn't commit, and even help um, expose sex trafficking to the public. Um, the best way to describe um, Elizabeth, um, besides the things I just said, is that you have to understand the world that she grew up in. Um, Elizabeth, the character, has survived a world where um, women are beat and raped, which she has suffered firsthand at the, the hands of her guardian, and as well as sex trafficking, like I said. And and that's really what makes this character um, interesting, because she's interesting, and um, she's a breath of fresh air, and it's a character you can really feel for as the story progresses because of the things that she had to go through. And if you've read the books or seen the movies, you'll completely understand. But if you haven't, I highly recommend you go either watch the movies or read the books or both. Um, because this character has the potential to um, stand the test of time. Uh, my final remarks about this character is that even though that she's smaller and unconventional looking, um, she is very resourceful to the point where she can actually stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemies twice her size and as well as come out on top of situations that aren't even stacked in her favor. There you have it. My favorite fictional female character is Elizabeth Salander from the Millennium series. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, please click subscribe if for to stay up to date for future videos. And once again, happy Valentine's Day or Single Awareness Day. My name is Max James. I am one half of the Two Ton Nerds, and I'm going to go geek out.